हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल फिजिक्स एक्सप्लोरिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिफ्रेक्शन थ्रू प्रिजम एंड वी विल फाइंड द एंगल ऑफ मिनिमम डेविएशन सो फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रिक्वायर प्रिजम पेंसिल प्रोटेक्टर इरेजर शार्पनर सॉफ्ट वुड फोर सॉफ्ट वुड पींस एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट so firstly we will keep this prism in the center of the sheet and then we have to uh, take or we have to mark the outline of this prism okay so here now you can see i just mark the outlining of this prism as you can see okay so you know this prism is acting like a equilateral triangle so it means each angle is 60 degree now we have to make instant ray suppose i am making a instant ray of 60 degree so if i want to make a instant ray of 60 degree then i have to choose a point of incidence so suppose i am choosing this point of incidence as you can see in the picture now what we i have to do i have to keep protector here in this point and like this this is the protector and now i'm keeping this protector here you can see like this uh now you can see like this point is 90 degree like this point is showing as a 90 degree it means it is a normal now i have to make a instant ray of 60 degree it means this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 so this angle will be this we will mark this point and this point will be as a 60 degree now i will remove the marker and i will put this line with a scale like this is a normal ray which i am drawing like 90 degree you can see and this one is the instant ray so you know the angle between normal ray and the uh, incident ray is known as the angle of incidence so i mark it as i now what i have to do i have to choose two points here on the incident ray and i have to keep again this prism like this in this outlining i have to keep again this prism like this and now in these two points i have to fix the two pins so suppose now i am fixing the pins in these two points like this so i fix these two pins in the incident ray as you can see in the video now now you will see these two pins on another side of the prism so i need to see these two pins from here very carefully so uh, when you are fixing fixing these two pins on the another side of the prism then you have you can close your one eye to avoid parallax error so now let me do it then i will show you and will uh, and you have to make sure that these two pins which i will plot here will be in straight line arrangement with these two pins okay so let me do it then i will show you now you can see that i arranged these two pins in such a way that all the four lines are in a straight line you can see carefully that all are making a all are in a straight line now what we have to do we have to remove this now red pin red fix pin and then after removing this pin i have to mark a point in this side also and i mark a point in this also like this i am removing this pin and now i will mark a point here i will removing this pin now i will mark a point here now what i have to do i have to remove this prism now what we have to do now now i will mark these two points and this ray will be known as a 
emergent ray and i will join this ray this point and this point together and this is a refracted ray and what is the normal ray here this is the this is the instant ray this is the refracted ray and this is the emergent ray and this is angle of prism which is 60 degree and it is denoted with a and now what will be the normal ray so uh, like i have to keep this protector here at this point so this will be a 90 degree so now it means 90 degree will be there so it is a normal okay clear so i think this is clear to you now i join this refracted ray this is instant ray this is refracted ray and this is emergent ray and you know the angle between the normal ray and emergent ray is known as the angle of emergence so i denoted it with e now you can see that instead of going straight line this emergent ray uh, bends like very uh, bends very literally because due to refraction now we will find the angle of deviation we know angle a is equals to 60 degree now what we have to do now we will have to extend instant ray forward so this is the instant ray so i will extend it to forward like this and now we have to extend emergent ray backward so this is the emergent ray so i am just extending this emergent ray backward like this So now we will get the angle of deviation. So this angle is known as the angle of deviation. So here in this we have an angle of prism A is equals to 60 degree. And uh, instant angle we have, uh, we have took 60 degree. And what will be the angle of deviation? So we will put now protector here in this point. From this point, we can find the angle of deviation. So, angle of... So, as you can see, uh, I have to keep protector here in this point. So, angle of deviation is... We find angle of deviation as 35 degree. I hope you all get this experiment. If you like my video, then please subscribe my channel and thank you so much.